Hi everyone, this is Carla. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, last video, I showed you some of the things I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And one of the items was this set of wreath rings and they're eight inches round. And so what I'm gonna do is, I've been uh, kind of curious about how to make a rag wreath. So I've looked on Pinterest and uh, oh, there's some beautiful rag wreaths on there. If, if you ever wanna try one, you can look on there and I also went on YouTube and looked at some things. I'm gonna go ahead and take these apart. I'm only gonna be using the one. And um, anyway, I found this um, one tutorial where I thought, you know, I think I'll make the big one. <laughs> but then I was watching this lady. I mean, she was amazing. But to make the 11 inch one with this uh, triple wire ring on this wreath form, she was using like seven yards of muslin. And I'm thinking, whoa, seven yards. But my mind wasn't going so much to the seven yards as it was the pieces. How many pieces would you have to be tying on there to get it all together with seven yards of fabric? The pieces that she did were about an inch and a half wide. And I think maybe, gosh, I wanna say anywhere from six to eight inches long. I really don't recall. But what I'm doing is, on the smaller wreath, I had some fabric already here. So I want to try it on the small one. It's going to be a little bit on the shabby look. I'm kind of wanting a real soft uh, Valentine kind of wreath. So I'm using an inch and a half um, wide strips of this fabric. I had this fabric. It's kind of gauzy. Um, let me see if that's, yeah, that's one piece. It's kind of a gauzy, and this is a really uh, light pink. I don't know if it's showing up very well. And then I also have it in this kind of cream color. And my strips, I'm making about five and five eighths by inch and a half. So I'm gonna be tying those on. And then I had this lace. So these are the same length, and this is an inch and a half wide lace. So this is kind of a cream color also. Then I had in my stash this pink ribbon, kind of a satin ribbon. And um, it isn't, I think it's only like an inch wide, but I don't think it would really matters. And uh, cut it the same length, about five and five eighths. So what I'm gonna be doing, I took my wreath and I've got my uh, pieces all lined up in order the way I'm going to tie them on. I've got the pink gauzy, the cream lace, the cream gauzy, and the pink ribbon. So that's where I've started and I'm kind of starting with the pink like I said. Then I've got the lace and I'm just tying on them on you know in a knot and then I got the pink, and then I just start repeating, and I'm gonna go all the way around this first ring, and then I will show you what it looks like from there. This is what I've got so far. I only have two repeats, but I'll come back and show you once I get all that on. So this is what I have on there so far. There are like three sections, and so I've got two of these sections tied on. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do that. Like I said, I'm doing mine in a uh, sequence. If I'm doing a pink, so I just take the pink, I've cut these into strips, and I'm going to start right here where this deck section begins. Just going to come in here, and you don't have to be right there because you can slide them up into place. I'm just going to just tie one tie knot and slip it up. Then my next piece is going to be lace. Now what I did, I actually took a longer break yesterday because as I was doing this, I thought, hmm, you know, this may take a little more fabric than what I have. And so 
We were supposed to get snow today, which we are getting, and I didn't want to have to get out. So I ran out to get some more fabric and some more lace. So I'm just tying that on, as you can see, and I'm gonna slide it up. My next one is going to be this cream-colored gauzy fabric. Now, I thought I had gotten my fabric at Joann's, so I went to Joann's and discovered that is not where I got my fabric. So I thought, well, that's usually where I get it. The only other place would probably be Hobby Lobby. So I ran to Hobby Lobby, which had already been in there that day and didn't even look for it because I just knew I got it at Joann's, right? Okay, we'll tie this one on and slide it up. So I went to Hobby Lobby and sure enough, they had it. So I got, and I know I got more than I will ever need for this, but like I said, I have two of these and I also have a large one. So I may use it and, you know, do something a little bit different. At least I know I'm going to have enough. So then you just tie that and I'll just keep tying until I fill in this space. Now I'm gonna show you, okay, the ribbon, I've used all the ribbon that I originally started with, and I knew I had purchased it at Hobby Lobby. And of course, the ribbon is not on sale this week, it will be next week. But I needed it now, so I went and I got two spools, and I know they're not the same width, and the funny thing is, neither one of these are the same width that I started with, but it's the same lace. They were just out of that width. This one's an inch and a half, and this one is seven eighths, so the one I started with must have been, I don't know, I, I think it was more than an inch, but I don't know, it was in between these two, but I don't think it will matter. I, I've got enough to get around the outside edge with the wider lace, and I thought I might go on the inside edge with the more narrow lace. And also while I was there, I picked up these two ribbons Kind of a pink and a cream that I might try to make you know a bow so I got this width and this width and I was looking through my stash and I have these wooden hearts I don't know if I'll be able to use those or not but I just put those out and here's the fabric and they have this in different colors but I wanted uh, the cream and the pink. I think they also have white and a aqua, which I do have some of that, but it's a darker aqua. It's not like a light mint green or anything like that. So I picked these up and these are on sale right now. I think 30% off a yard. So a half a yard was like $3.49. So I just got two half yards. And that'll make sure I have plenty. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, finish tying this and then we'll come back and we'll start on the next circle. So I've got the top layer now completed and doesn't that look fluffy? I think that's pretty. So um, I think on the second wire here, I'm gonna change my sequence a little bit. I think I'm gonna go with the cream then a pink ribbon and I'm gonna do the cream lace whoop I grabbed that wrong thing there and I'm gonna go ahead I think and use the wide lace on this one because I think I definitely have enough and if I don't feel like I have enough of this wide lace to do the inside ring then I'll go to the smaller lace but I think I have enough of this so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then end with a pink so we'll alternate just a little more and I'm gonna get started tying those on so I'm gonna start with the cream and I'm gonna start right up here just go in there just like before it doesn't matter where you tie because you can slide it over to that end and I've never done this before, but I'm liking the way this is looking. I'm liking my choice of fabric. I mean, you could use any kind of fabric 
And if you had just a whole lot of um, lace, wouldn't that be pretty? You have a whole stash of lace. As much ribbon as I have, and I have to try this for Christmas. Well, I'm thinking with my Christmas ribbon, what I'm going to do, since I have accumulated quite a bit of it, I think I'm going to make bows to sell at my craft fair next year. Just, you know, like wreath bows, or they could use them any way they want on any of their decorations, because I know my wreaths that I have, that I save from year to year that I put out, it's the bow that usually takes the, takes the worst beating, I guess, when you're storing them. Sometimes you can revive them, but after, I don't know, a while, they just kind of lose their oomph. <laughs> and all you really need to do is switch out the bow. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with a lot of my ribbon. I did de-stash a lot of it, too. I got another wire rack for that door. I don't have it filled yet. My husband put it together for me. So, I'm going to have to get in there and get that completed as well. We've got these four tied on. I'm going to uh, finish doing that, go all the way around the second ring, and then we'll start on the third ring. So, I pretty much have used all my little pink strips. I'm going to cut some more. I'm just going to show you how I do that. Um, I'm going to need my Ulfa edge here. It kind of helps me line things up. I've got my granddaughter's things. Push those out of the way just a little bit. It still may not work. Okay, let's go here. This goes to the lip edge. I just want to straighten up my edges so I'm not even really measuring right now, but this has, well, it all comes actually, well, that'll cut that off. Okay, I'm talking to myself. So I'm going to take my uh, Ulfa cutter here, and I'm just going to cut off. Let me see if I can get this in here. Now. Okay, I'm going I'm just going to come here and just run this down. Just give me a straight edge. There we go. Take that off. Then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to cut this at five, five and a quarter inches. Five and an eighth. That's what I said. Five and an eighth. So I'm going to get that kind of pressed out there. Come in here at five-eighths. I love this Ulfa cutting board because it has this little lip right here on the edge and if you get that up against the edge of your cutting mat then you won't have to worry about it slipping. So let me get that lined up here again. And the five and a quarter. It and those little lines. This is a Cricut mat on the back, the gray one, and this is a Ulfa small mat that I've had for a while. Now I'm just gonna. There we go. Put that on firm and just go down there. Now this is what I have left of a quarter of a yard that I started with on the pink. So I'm really thinking with that size of a frame, you'll probably be able to do it with a quarter of a yard if you're using two fabrics. And then of course I'm using um, uh, like an inch ribbon and probably inch and a half lace. So you gotta kind of figure that into the equation. Now I'm just gonna turn these these uh, strips around like so. Again, I want to just take my uh, measuring tool here and I just want to even up the ends. And now 
I just want to cut this at inch. Boy, I'm thinking an inch and a half, but that looks kind of big to me. Let me double check here. Nope, inch and a half. Okay, put that on here. Cut. Inch and a half. So you can lay several together, and I could have even folded that more. I'm going to do inch and a half. And if they're not exact, it's not gonna matter that much. Oops, what did we do here? Didn't get all the way to my end. I'm just gonna snip that. See, I'm getting quite a few out of this little piece. going to turn out really cute. I mean, I have no idea exactly how it's going to turn out, but we'll just work on it together. For some reason, I'm not pushing quite hard enough right there. This over here, inch and a half. Now, I did cut mine so the, the kind of stripe weave in the fabric is going vertical. I think it it's easier to kind of put it on that way. I think I got it that time. Ah. Nope, a little more. Okay, let's see how many we can get. Let's see, pretty even on that end. And if it's a little kind of uh, frayed on the end. I think that just adds to the character. Won't matter. And this may turn out really good, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see if I've got three inches. Yeah, that's going to turn out perfect. <laughs> How about that? Here we go. Let's just come over a little bit. It's going to give me... I'm just going to try to cut those in half so I can use all of it. All right. So, I'll show you what I've got so far. Got the inside done. I have one more section to do before we go inside and do this one, this last ring on the inside. So, I'll get that together and we'll do the inside. I've got it all tied on and isn't that so sweet? I'm in love with it already and I feel like I need to put a little bit of something on it, but I tell you, it's so sweet just like that. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. I want to keep it simple because I just think that's really sweet. So what I've done is I've gotten out some of my cream-colored ribbons over here, some of my pink ribbons, some little flowers here, and I'm going to put in a little bouquet, and I've got some of my... Uh, cabin, what is it called? Cabin, oh, scrap cabin, scrap cabin crinkly ribbon. So let's just see what we come up with. Uh, first of all, let's lay this over here. I've got my mat out and I've got my new glue gun on. I'm gonna try that today. First, let's get these on my fingers. 
get these on. I don't want to let go of these. I tried to get them where I thought I might want to um, glue them and kind of wrap them with this floral tape. Let's see how it goes here. Uh, go ahead and cut just a little bit of this floral tape. Probably won't need much. And here comes the part where I'm probably gonna burn my fingers. I might need some more little fingertips. Let's see. Okay, let's get these on too. All right, let's hold these like so. Oh, these things are so awkward. <laughs> the string's out of the way. Now I'm gonna try to hold these together and put some glue on that and then wrap it. So, here's my new little glue gun that I just got the other day. It's the smaller ones, which I I kind of like the bigger ones, however, I love the tip on that. See how small that is? I think I'm gonna like that. So I'm gonna try to put some glue on here. So pump down in there. Oh, here we go. Come on. There's some. my thumb. Oh well. Push that together. I actually might do better without that. And put this on. Just kind of lay that on and try to bring it around. I glue dry fast. Well, let's put a little more on there. Started wrapping. We can tighten it up. Let's add the top there. Let's see, I kind of glued on those stems and then I wrapped that floral wire. I may have missed one here. It's no big deal. I'll just um, I'm gonna take these off a minute. I'm gonna have to put another stick in there. goes in. You know what? I'm not sure. Mm, we'll try it. Let's put a little here. And then I'm going to wrap this tape up there. That should stick. Another piece of this tape. Kind of a little more glue up high here. I'm gonna change that. I don't know if you can see me. Move this down a little bit. Um, okay. A little bit in here. And let's come up here. Take this and wrap that. Now this uh, floor tape I got at the Dollar Tree. And these stems I've had in my little floor base. So I, like I said, something simple. And if that doesn't work, we'll clip it off. It's sticking up there a little bit. Now I'm going to just kind of wrap this together on the end. First I might cut this off. It's sticking out there a little more than I need it to be. Yeah. Let's put a little glue here. 
And I said it was snowing earlier. It's been snowing all day. We don't really have that much accumulation. I don't know if the ground was warm or, but it has been snowing lightly all day. Okay. So that's going to give me this little bouquet here. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way because I do not want to get glue on my sweet little wreath. Move that out of the way. And let's move this over here. Glue on my fingernails. That's okay. Oh, I just love this. I love that so much. I'm going to move this up so we're not quite right on top of it. Okay, now I've got this little flower thing. I have to decide. I mean, I know I'm going to put some ribbon on there. Like I said, I want to keep it simple. So should it go, I don't know, or in, kind of bury it inside? Almost like that better so you can see all the, the ruffling that we tied on there. This really is an easy way to make one. And I figured out I probably used um, a fourth of yard will give you plenty if you're using two different types of fabric and you cut them at the measurements. I'll leave in my description box. And two spools of each color of ribbon or lace that you want to use. Mine uh, had 10 yards a piece on them. And that went fine. So I'm thinking... I think I may want to go kind of in here. And I'm just going to lay it there a minute because I've got... But I don't know if I really want to <laughs> to make it only for Valentine's Day. It's so sweet. I guess you can use a heart anytime. I'm not going to put Happy Valentine's Day on it. My guest room, my granddaughter and I, we call it the girly room because it's got these colors and it's kind of shabby could put that on there but first I think what I'm going to do I'm going to take this I'm going to look at well I had these roses let's see I didn't like these as well they just blend too much okay those are gone this and let's take um I'm thinking I had some lace out here did I put my lace out oh I've got tool maybe tool. Let me take some of this tool. Let's see what we can do with that. Let me just cut this. This is such a light pink. It really doesn't show up, but that's okay. I want it more pastel-y. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just kind of do a... Uh, like a bow. Don't want it very big. I'm just going to maybe bring it together like this. Just see how. So I don't want it to be sticking out. That's almost too much. Is that that one? Yeah. But still, you can't really okay, glue on my fingernails to see that it's pink. But I think it'll be okay because I might put some other stuff in there. Let's see. Looks like I've got a piece of something green. Uh, there. Okay, I would leave those tails, I think. So I'm going to take this. And let's see, what would I want to tie it with? Maybe put that in there with those flowers in there. Always glue that on. Oops. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to take... I wish I had some thin string handy. But, oh, here's a real big, a real thin piece of ribbon. I think I'll take that. Just cut me a little piece of that. 
and go around the center here. Make me a little knot. Let's do another one. what happens when we mess with this a little bit. Of course, I'll be trim those tails off. I just kind of want to get an idea of what this might look like. So, um, if we took this and let's see behind there like so. Just hold that a second. Let's get our little Oh, that's sweet. And that, I almost think that might be simple enough. I mean, I have all kinds of pretty things I was thinking about putting on there, but I just don't want to overdo it. Oh, I think I like that. Um, hmm. Let's take this ribbon, tie it onto these flowers. Trying to think, maybe put a heart? I don't know, let's see what it looks like. I do want that tied on there tight. I don't have a very big piece here, but I think I can get it. Turn it around. I still want to trim those out. So I'm thinking I might like that. Pull those up more. I can pull that up even. There's a little green thing. Oh, I can't get it off of there. What is that? Oh, it's, there it is. I think it's got electricity in it. It keeps jumping. There we go. Excuse me. So I could pull that up even. Pull this up even. And if I put that in there. I think that's sweet. Now the only other thing I could do is if let's see, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna take this light, lighter crinkle ribbon. Uh, let's see, we can find the end here, and, well, there it is, let's just see, oh, I think that would be pretty, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut several pieces, I think, all different lengths, Where'd the end go? Oh, <laughs> having a hard time keeping up with those ends. Okay, this one's gonna be a little longer. Of course, you know, when you tie this, when you pull on it, it could be any length of time you get through pulling on it. Let's see, I'll make one more and we'll see what we think. Let me see if that was hanging down there. Um, let's make one a little shorter up here. Now, let's find the middle. That might have been too short. Hope not. Now, let's see. If we would put tie that. Oh, I think I'm liking it. I think this one might be too long. Hmm. Which one is that? This one? 
Okay, let's see what happens. We take this and we tie it around this. Three of them. There we go. Give them? I don't think so. Try that again. Right. I know what I'm trying to do. I'm not sure if I'm accomplishing it. I'm going to try some of this tool in there too. So let's see how we can manage that. This is my front. Okay. Maybe I should just do one at a time. And I could also put some hot glue on that after I get it tied and know kind of where I want it to be. Let's take, okay, let's pull that one out a little bit. And take it under here, like so. I think I tied that. Goodness, let's go under here. Okay, <laughs> regroup. Got too much going on there. I think I need to glue that first. So I know I want it to stand up kind of like that. So why don't we just Let's put some glue on there, just like that. And then take our ribbon and lay it down. Cross it over in that glue, then we'll give it a tie. Yeah, now we'll give it a tie. that one. Let's do another one. This one. Same thing. Let's add some glue back here. Grab my mat up here. I think I put some glue here on the back. I'm sorry, I think I just bumped that. And let's go right through here. Up a little bit. And then we're gonna lay this on this one. Let's take it, turn it over. Lay it right there in the center. I love this little mat because it shouldn't stick to it. Then we can just pull these over like so and tie that one. And hopefully we've got our tool in there as well. Okay, that's coming together good because I can always moosh this around a little bit. Yeah, it is hot back there. Then we've got one more and we might add another one, I don't know. Um, let's see what I do with it. Mm -hmm. 
I did cut three, didn't I? There it is. There it is. Sorry, I keep bumping there. Then we're going to add this one the same way. Let's put the glue in the back. Glue back here. And then let's take this, kind of find the middle. Lay that up. I want this one to come around a little higher in the front, I think. more ribbon. Let's see. Take these and kind of push them around a little. You kind of want it. Push it up. Let's get our wreath again. Take a peek at this. I'm going to push it down in here. Oh, I think that's pretty. Can you see that? Now I wonder, should I add another color of ribbon too? Maybe so you can see it better with a darker one might um, set it off. I wish I had a cream color in this, but I don't. I have used it all. And I don't have any white in there, so I really don't want to go white. I do have this seam binding ribbon, but it's not crinkly. Okay. We're going to take some of this. Maybe two or three of these. Try that. I think it's still keeping it simple because the, the color palette is still pretty simple. All right, let's cut some of this and take our little flower out again. Um, let's put it on the back. See that glue on my fingernail keeps catching in that tool. Little trash can here. Sorry. Ah, well, I got some of it off. I just don't want it to catch in that. Okay, now let's go ahead and put a little more glue right here. And let's take the darker pink. I'm going to lay it on. I might not even have to tie this one. We'll see how it falls. Yeah, I think we need to maybe bring it to the front because you can't see it at all okay we'll bring this one to the front i just don't know if i can put this outside <laughs> i just think it's too cute i don't know if i can hang it outside it might get wet oh i like that i think that's enough let's see let's take this again and let's lay this kind of down in here and see how that hangs off. Oh, I think that is so sweet. Okay, we can always move these little uh, tall bows around a little bit, kind of get them where we want. And I had oh, these little roses, but I didn't know, you know, Probably not. They're cute, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this kind of simple. I could put a heart maybe up in there. That would add a little bit to it, wouldn't it? Maybe, what, up here? And I think I'll just add it to the flower instead of the wreath. Yeah, back in there. Yeah, 
there. That's what I'll do. And I'm just going to stick it on this piece of tool. That way it won't actually be attached to my wreath. Okay. So let's just raise that up. And I'm going to hope this works. I'm going to just put that on there. Take my little finger protector and lay this down. Lay that on there. And hopefully that will stand up. And look a little more like Valentine's Day with a little heart on there. Okay, now let's take this again. Because I do want it kind of in the back. I need to let that dry. I'm going to pull these apart. It'll be fuller. Yeah. These are kind of folded up. And you really can't get the full fluffiness of the tool bow. So let's kind of pull these apart. That's drawing back there. This one I may not want pulled apart. <laughs> Leave it more. Up there. Okay, might need let's see, I think we're gonna do that. Okay, let's pull all these things around. Here's the back of it. You just want to make sure you can pull these all up so you can see them really well. So let's go ahead and put this down in here. And I think I'm going to stick it in that wire. And I'm going to try to tie this on instead of gluing it. Like I said, if I want to change it or something. Oh, did I find my place I can poke this? There's one. There, I think. Let's turn it over and see where I'm at back here. Oh, sorry, I'm probably right in your way. There we go. Now. Okay. Oh, I think that's cute. Let's get my heart back up there. Yeah. Put it up there a little more so you can see it. Actually, I think I will glue that to the back. That way I won't have to worry about it wiggling around. There it is. I'm just going to put some glue back there. And I'm going to have to stabilize that heart just a little bit, I think. Let's put some glue back here. That kind of dry. Could take a piece of this and lay over that and make, cover that up pretty well. Um, just take some of these little bow ends, kind of mash them in there, and that'll cover that up. Yeah, the back of it looks pretty neat. It's covered up see my heart. Now I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I'm going to pull some of this tool away from that heart a little bit. And there you go, ladies. What do you think? There's my first rag wreath. I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. So thank you for stopping by today. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just about at that 2000 and I'm just waiting so I can do a giveaway. So anyway, you girls and ladies and boys and everybody out there, you have a good day and we're enjoying the snow. It's still snowing. So uh, I think I'm going to go up and start supper until next time. Can you see that? Make sure you can see it until next time. Bye-bye.